the Britain's Got Talent judge, 58, pledged his support to the troubled presenter, 42, who has been keeping a low profile since his drink-driving conviction last month. Simon Cowell insisted and isn't a bad person, telling The Sun, he's not the only person these things happen to. He's in the public eye, he continued, admitting, it's a wake-up call. It's as simple as that. Simon confessed the pressure on Ant may have become too much without him noticing, saying, maybe the pressure was more than I realized. I will support Ant when he comes back. He's not a malicious person, he added, he's just got himself into a place. But he has owned it and he's going to deal with it. Speaking out on Ant's decision to cancel his upcoming TV commitments following his conviction, Simon said, he's taken a step back because his health is way more important than a TV show. Nonetheless, the show boss revealed he wants to reunite Ant and Deck on the next series, saying, we want him back. Ant stepped away from the spotlight following his involvement in a three-car collision in March. He was subsequently convicted of drink driving after pleading guilty at Wimbledon Magistrates Court in April. The Hayor favourite was fined £86,000 and banned from driving for 20 months. He also returned to rehab after the incident, having previously completed a two-month stint last summer as he sought treatment for his addiction to prescription painers. Yesterday, the presenter was pictured looking happy and healthy as he walked his beloved pet pooch Hurley. He appeared in high spirits on the outing with the Labrador and some pals. Meanwhile, his longtime professional partner Declan Donnelly, 42, has presented the Britain's Got Talent live show solo. Last night, the series came to a close with an astounding grand final, with comedian Lost Voice Guy being crowned winner and earning himself a place at the Royal Variety Performance 2018. The funny man, real name Lee Ridley, suffers from cerebral palsy which left him unable to speak from a young age. He won over both the judges and viewed at home from his first audition with his hilarious routines which he pre-records and plays via a voice synthesizer. Lost Voice Guy beat fellow comedian Robert White to scoop the £250,000 prize.